Okay, on to tough topics too. Uh, really tough one to talk about here is the donation button. Um, again, I want to stress that I'm not talking about this in relation to myself. I'm not trying to push for donations. I just want to talk about how we show appreciation to developers um, and, uh, and then some guidelines for you as a developer if you're thinking about getting into developing uh, when it comes to the donations. Um, here we have uh, a ROM made by Shiny Side. This is going back quite a ways, back to 2014, and uh, I didn't, I didn't ask him actually if I could kind of use his ROM here for uh, for an example. But I just wanted to pick somebody other than myself to show that that there's developers out there that have done some really great work and uh, what uh, what you can do for appreciation to a developer that's developing for a phone or an application that you use uh, to uh, to show that kind of appreciation so for instance um, you know here uh, this developer shiny side um, has uh, made an ROM back in 2014 for the Samsung Galaxy S4 and uh, you know you'll see if you scroll through on XDA uh, some people will have this donate button and um, what is what is that about well again it goes back to uh, showing appreciation um, when is a good time to donate when is not a good time to donate I don't want to uh, recommend that you donate every time uh, to somebody who just answers a question that you have. Uh, for instance, if you're like, "Hey, uh, uh, does this uh, does anybody have a problem with their GPS?" and somebody's like, "Yeah, well, uh, you know, you can fix that by doing yada yada yada," um, and then then you would have to necessarily donate to them. A thanks button slap would probably work pretty well for that. Um, I, I'm going to suggest to you that a uh, donation button would be for someone who either seriously got you out of a bind or uh, somebody that has developed something that you actually use. Um, for instance, like if you were to use this ROM, this ROM is actually fairly old now and I, I don't know that too many people are using it anymore, which is why I felt like it was a good example. Uh, you know, if this was back in the day back in 2014 and and uh, this ROM was being extremely useful for yourself something to consider would be to click the donate button to donate to that developer to show some extra appreciation it doesn't have to be much um, you know a dollar two bucks five bucks uh, you know a cup of coffee typically is the um, is the uh, phrase that people use you know buy the developer a cup of coffee um, and this can be for a, a ROM or a theme or an app or um, firmware uh, that they've made, something like that. Somehow that they are helping you with something I feel that's somewhat tangible. Uh, that would be something worthy of a donation. So if you're going to, uh, you know, donate to someone, that would be a good good cause to do it. Something else to consider, you know. If, like we talked about with the thanks button slaps, you know, if you're not thanking, you know, that developer for their work, then eventually they're going to start to wonder, well, does anybody really care about this ROMs that I'm making for this phone? And eventually they go away. And you're going to be sitting there uh, wondering, wow, I wish somebody would build some ROMs for this, uh, for this phone. Well, you can kind of help keep that going by, by donating to... Uh, to a developer that is actively developing for a phone that you have and that will help keep them uh, working on your phone and that sounds kind of uh, silly it's not like you're paying them exactly to work on your phone and and by no means if you donate to someone are you obligating them for continued service but that you're saying hey I appreciate the work you've done on this phone so far or on this tablet and I'm going to show my appreciation by donating to that cause 
then uh, then they're gonna be like, wow, you know, I keep I keep building for this uh, this device, and people are really appreciative. They're slapping the thanks button a lot, and you know, uh, uh, I'm actually making a, a few bucks uh, doing this. You know, kind of support my ROM hobbies, and you know, buy some uh, other cool accessories for my phones, or some uh, things to test out with, or other material, or pay for that file hosting that they've uh, been uh, been using to share the files with you. Then, uh, then they're going to be like, yeah, you know, I can maybe kind of see uh, continuing to develop on this phone or on this platform. Um, again, I'm not saying that's always going to be the case. I'm just saying it's something to consider. Uh, it definitely does not lock them into some sort of uh, contract with you where, hey, I donated to you once. Now you need to keep building on this phone forever. No, but that you show your appreciation for the work that they're doing, and they're like, wow, I just might want to keep doing that. Uh, what do uh, what do people use uh, donations for? Um, typically, uh, kind of the things that I just mentioned, but uh, it takes uh, it takes a considerable amount of time to uh, build for various Android devices, and sometimes it can actually take equipment to build for Android devices. You may need, uh, in some cases, to upgrade the amount of RAM that you have so you can continue to support building for multiple devices, uh, you know, so you can shorten the build time so you have time to build more material. And, you know, RAM costs money. Uh, they may need a new hard drive, so they have more space to hold more things so they can continue building. Uh, for instance, some builders out there, they're building off of their laptop, and they're building off of a laptop with a 250, 300 gigabyte hard drive, and that means they can only build one Android device at a time. Well, they're going to have to drop building your Android device so they can build the next Android device that they're working on. Or perhaps they're going to have to drop building... Um, you know, nuggets so they can build Oreo, and so they don't have space for both. But you know what? If they had, uh, you know, if they've been donated some funds, they might be able to afford getting a bigger hard drive so they could do both and have both on there. Uh, so a lot of times they'll use it for equipment. Uh, sometimes they'll use it for services, uh, uh, which can kind of fall under equipment as well. But for instance, uh, like myself, I have limited internet. Uh, it. Uh, um, the far corner of Alaska here. Uh, actually, I'm kind of in the middle of Alaska, but regardless, uh, is the fact that uh, you know some people have limited in internet or slow internet, or they can only download so much at one time before they run out of internet, uh, and and so then they can actually use this donated funds to purchase more internet so they can download more material to build more custom ROMs. Uh, so that's just another example. They might also be using it to uh, pay for the services of online hosting, things like uh, paying for uh, the um, you know services that allow them to share the work that they've already done. Um, sometimes uh, you can get free services for that, but uh, they typically have caps or limits on the amount of free material you can host, and so you'll find a lot of custom ROMs that have uh, you know materials that have disappeared. The custom ROM that was there is kind of older, and then you click to download it, and it doesn't exist anymore because they had to make more space on their free online service, and so they they dumped that. But if they were receiving donations, perhaps they could afford to keep that uh, material open by purchasing a plan to provide that material. So just a couple things to consider about in in the realm of uh, donation. Um, if you're if you're new to XDA and you're going to jump on here and you're going to have uh, and you go ahead and set up a donation button, I'd I'd like to give you some some guidance if I can. If you haven't built any ROM or any app or you don't have anything tangible that you give someone, I would recommend that you probably don't need a donation button. I know I'm probably offending a few people with that. Um, you know, and there are some specific cases where that, that may not be true. Um, but generally speaking, if, if you're not providing anybody with anything, I, I'm not really sure you need to, to set up a donation button yet. Um, also, I'd, I've been asked this a couple times uh, privately. People have asked me if working on Android is something you can make a living at um, by using the donation system and I'm going to tell you no 
The answer is definitely, emphatically, no. Um, again, I don't want to uh, to try to get people to donate to me. That's not the purpose of this. I just want to explain how donations work. Um, but uh, in uh, three years of developing uh, for uh, Android, um, I have uh, received uh, only one donation um, for for the work that I've done. Um, and again, I am not trying to, to guilt anyone into donating to me. I just want to explain to you, if you are a developer and you're trying to do this as something that will get you money, um, you really aren't going to make it in the donation world uh, on XDA. You'll see some people actually will have donation stars where um, after you've been donated to, a little star will show up. And I don't think I've ever seen more than... 13 or 14 stars for a developer. Maybe if you're uh, on the cutting edge doing some really great stuff, uh, maybe that would work. Um, some people do go for bounties where, um, you know, people pledge that they're going to donate if somebody can build something for a particular phone um, or something like that. So perhaps that's an avenue to go if you're trying to make funds or money. Um, but, but just in general, just know that uh, if you think it was hard to get thanks button slaps, it's even hard to get uh, harder to get donations. So uh, just something to be aware of if you are an Android developer getting ready to get started. Um, this, is, this is probably not going to be the uh, lucrative uh, uh, method that, uh, that you're hoping for. Um, again, that's kind of a tough topic to talk about. I, I hope that was useful for others, and uh, I appreciate you taking the time to listen to this uh, to this video.